I'm doing right night dig this one. Well, say night dig, not quite yet. It's 8.25, obviously PM. So it will be getting dark soon. So I'll probably be here till, well, I don't know. I'm in no rush to get back today. So um, that's that. Um, I've been trying to get in the daytime, but at the minute, I'm just too busy with the work all the time where I've actually got some spare time at this time. So, yeah, it's a night dig. Right, where am I digging? I don't know whether you're going to see this properly because it's already getting quite dark. Right, again, going a little bit now. The cap in here is surprisingly deep. That's quite a bit, that is, before I've hit in the ash. Usually, it's like right under the surface here. What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, I've seen another, uh, another two diggers just coming off the site as I was walking on. I know they are anyway, but um, can't grumble and they filled the holes in and everything, but yeah, it might be time for me to move on soon, find a new place now, because it, it'll be starting to get a bit busy now, this place. People are starting to find out about it, and it's usually places get wrecked on it like that then. So we'll see how it goes, but as soon as open holes start turning up, I'll be off then, because I don't want to get blamed for stuff like that. But for now anyway it's still good so we'll carry on it see my stuff and we're right near the path this time now this is another reason why and probably best digging at night time where is it you can see around here yeah there look you can see you do get horses coming up and down here so digging this close to the side of the path with about bloody half a ton of horse is probably not a good idea so yeah i'm probably a lot better off digging at night time anyway so i get all this filled in again before they turn up again so that's that. Let's get digging. Right, we have this first bottle and it's also my favourite time of the night now, or time of the day should you say, dusk. You can just see the, the blackbirds shouting there. The law will be starting soon. Anyway, what's this one here? I'm guessing it's going to be a Jay's fluid, something like that. Oh, oh it's nice, a poison, quite a nice one too. Yep, lovely. There are a few more poisons. I quite like my poisons. There's your first bottle anyway. Quite a nice one too. What's this one? Stuck in prongs, look. Just got a bit of a, a green tint to it, that does. I think anyway. Right, nothing on it. That is quite an early bottle, that is. Proper whittled glass. Loads of bubbles in it, and it looks like it's got a bit of green to it, to me, that has. So, I'll have a proper look in the morning when it gets light, because obviously uh, your lights do play tricks on you too. But, yeah, cut the glass in that. That's quite a nice early bottle, that is. Even though it's plain, the colour makes up for it. Yeah, nice. Right, we have one of these really long, weird, like whiny bottle things. Now, the last time I found one of these, it had a seal on it. But I don't think I'll be that lucky. I can't see one on it. Wow, it's definitely a strange one. I think these are like hock, like a German hock or something like that. But uh, yeah, strange looking one that is. So I'm getting bit by bugs. Keep biting me back. Yeah, that might be slightly purpley colour, that one, yeah. I don't know with them. They always nice things anyway. And we have this here, so let's pull this one out. Right, that is just a completely plain sauce bottle. So, uh, nothing special on that one. 
But it's um, a busy little dig up chat anyway. I've, oh, I've hardly got going really, so you never know, it might be an interesting dig tonight. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's different. That's something different straight away. I've never seen that marking before. So this must be something different. Oh, no way. Well, whatever it is, it's had the label on it. But it looks like it's a lovely amber colour. I think, anyway, unless it's something inside. I'm guessing that is a very light amber. Pardon me, which is quite nice because I've got a, a green one up there somewhere on them. So, yeah, two unusual coloured bottles, would you? It's this one. Look at that, completely plain, but a lovely label on it. If I can read it. Something about this relish should not be too hot to something. Westmans brand TB something. Can't read it all. But yeah, just a plain sauce. But it's one of them ones that never really knows about the make of it. So you find one with a label on like that. This is something different. Massive, massive Scots emulsion. And you see the size of that. Cod liver oil. That's huge. With lime and soda. Never seen that before on one. Yeah, monster. It's got some origin, is a beast and all that one is. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Whoa. What if that's lime or something? Mmm, that's weird. It doesn't smell of anything. It actually smells of paint, actually. Ugh. There's more there, like a big lump. I'm guessing this would have come out some sort of can or something. Mmm, don't know about that. We'll stick it over there and I'll get it on me. That's on the kit. Wow, that's another massive cod liver oil. Lovely condition, and all these are. So I'm trying to do this without getting that white stuff all over them. Massive one. I'm guessing that's probably about the same size as the other one. Nice bottles there. But there's not many finds coming out tonight. It's getting quite late and on now. Right, I don't know whether you can see me from here or so what. It's, it's really hard when it's like this. But, no, nah, you're not going to see a thing, are you? Um, I'm getting quite deep now. Um, a lot deeper than what I was planning actually, but I'm nearly at the bottom now. I've got about another two foot and I'll be hitting the water, so it's daft leaving it now because they could be the best things down there. So, yeah, oh, there's a bottle there. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'll show you that one in a minute. And oh, there's something else there too. It looks like a badge. <laughs> got a muck in my mouth. Right, I turn my camera on and I'll show you these bits. Yeah, I just caught a glimpse of that there. Can you see it? That looks like a rusty lump of an army badge to me, that one. Wow, it is. It's a really nice one and all. Definitely a wheel or cannon wheel or something. That's a really nice one. Like that. Right, um, in fact, let me just put that one on the top first and then we'll find that other bottle. Right, starting to cave in a bit now. It's getting a bit a bit dodgy for on my own. But an old little bunch of stuff here. Right, first one, I can see that. It's a toddy bottle, but we'll have a look at that one first. First, that's a good ease. 
Well, I've got a tiny little um, little green. I don't know what these are for, but I've actually had them where the label goes over that recess there, and I've had one once with a little brush in it. So I'm guessing that would have had a brush that went in, and the label went over it, which is quite nice. Right, the next one I can see what this is already. This is quite nice. Oh, we have a little poison. This is a nice one, I know. Tiny. Lovely. Right, put them there. And this one. Ooh. Oh, dig a shame likes these ones. Old Grand's special toddy. C. Wright and Son Limited Works with London and Leith. Right, and the, the all important thing, it should have a date on the bottom. There we go. Always a good one to date a tip. If it'll focus on it. There we go. Was it? 19, 1913. So not a bad age, Danny. Right, I'll put these to the top and I'll carry on caving in. Just have this one out. It's a lovely light ice blue, I'll say. A. Griesenson Chemist Chesterfield. Such pale colour that one is. Look at that one. Right, I'm going to have to move because I think it's all going to cave in in a minute. Right, last battle for tonight anyway, I'm guessing unless I've missed something um, chucking out, is this one. It's quite different, quite a fancy little thing and all. Right, time to start filling in. Oh, right, that's it. All nicely filled in. Quite cold and all that, but I'm absolutely roasted, I've got steam coming off me. Right, here's the stuff that's coming home. Um, we've got two lovely big Scots emulsions, which I don't know I'm going to get them in my shop because they're a bit big they are. They certainly won't be able to go to America and they'll just be too heavy. So I'm afraid they'll probably be UK only if anybody wants them. Um, big old German Hock, I think it's Hock bottle or something like that. It's quite nice. Um, old Grand Toddy. I've got the two um, little greens there. Poison's quite nice. Oops, can't see it now. Yeah, nice little poison. Nice amber, well I think it's amber anyway, and also a, quite a shaded green one. Nicely poison, lovely Chesterfield um, chemist. And obviously the tiny little ornate thing. Oh, and the, the army badge there. And that's it for this dig, I'm afraid. So, um, I don't know yet. I might be having a bit of a break for a while now for YouTube and everything. Can just get some jobs done at home, but we'll see. But uh, the usual thing I say anyway is um, some of these things will be in my shop. So you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. And I'll see you on a cleaner video.